Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this warm wheel animation in Blender. So let's start. So first select this default view, press X and delete it. Now go to the add, mesh and you will see gear gen master. Uh, just you know you need to install this add-on before you can start it. Okay, I have provided the link in description if you want to use it. Okay, download it first and go to the edit preferences and go to the add-ons click on install and install the file okay now i assume that you have installed it so go to the mesh and gear gen master test okay now go here click on warm and we are going to choose cylindrical now increase the number of this z uh, it is basically implying asking how many number of teeth are on gear in my case it is 50 Make sure that you remember module, it is 0.2 and what is the diameter of the worm? In my case it is 2 meter, okay? And I recommend increase the revolution of worm, uh, let's say 64, okay? As you can see, it's look quite good now and select this one, click on here, click on shade smooth, go to the this uh, object data properties, normals, click on okay here, okay? Just check it. After that, what you need to do is select this, press tab, go to the edge mode and by pressing alt and shift, select this, oh, sorry, by pressing alt and shift, select this edge, oh, my bad, as you can see, this circle got selected, now press E and Y, press S, Y, 0. Now let's delete the unwanted edges, okay? So go to the extreme mode, 7, or go to the vertices, select this one first, press X and delete vertices, and go to the edge mode, and by pressing shift, select these three, sorry. By pressing shift, select these three edges. Now, this one press F to fill it, and by pressing Alt, uh, by pressing Alt Shift, select this, press F to fill it. Okay, now similarly, uh, do that process here E, Y, S, Y, 0. G, Y and go to the word mode select this word make sure that you select this word in the action mode because I want to select both uh, two words here okay so I, I want to select two words here press X and read words after that go to the edge mode uh, select this one by pressing shift select this and this press F And press F to here. Now select this, press A to select all, go to the mesh and go to the merge, merge by distance. Uh, remove its smooth anti vortices. Okay. Now let's see the other task. Now press 7. Now I need to add the warm wheel. So go to add mesh. Again go to gear and mass test go to warm gear so this one is quite complex for me when i was first trying to learn it so if you remember correctly that when i was making this i said that the our warm wheel has 50 teeth so increase the number of teeth to 50 okay after that now watch the process carefully because if you skip any step you will do mistakes okay so what you need to do is increase the width uh, width step to 10 uh, for those who are wondering why 10, for example, here you can see if I increase the width, okay, as you can see, I'll make it 2. Now, if I make the width step 2, for example, as you can see, it is not quite curved looking. So, if I make it 10, it is look quite good, okay. So, high, higher the width step, better the quality you will get, and make sure that the width is 2 and module is also same 0.2 because this one is also has a module of 0.2 okay after that what we are going to do is press 7 uh, 
uh, I want to make a hole here so go to hole diameter increase it okay and you can also increase dive bottom these other parameter as per your requirement okay now press 7 go to add empty click on plane axis select this one and go to the oh, modifiers click on array make uh, type the number of count 50 uncheck the relative count go to object offset click on empty select the empty press r z type 7.2 a question arises why i type this empty value 7.2 uh, 360 divided by 50 you will get the value of 7.2 okay so what i've basically done is i rotate each one of the array up to angle of 7.2 so this is what i have done okay as you can read the value here so select this go here and click on apply after that right click on it click on shade smooth and make sure it is auto smooth after that press 7 and select this press tab uh, go to the mesh merge by distance uh, 750 versus are removed that is a good thing now press tab again select this press g x and move it here now what i am going to do is is called mathematical calculation so this is also a time consuming process for me when i first tried uh, it took me i guess three days to figuring out how to do it because i you know spend a lot of time on internet how to do it uh, the most difficult problem that i faced is basically how i get the pitch value here okay this is the most difficult value because i need to do the calculation for the animation purposes because whatever animation you will see on my channel are basically exact mathematically derived it's not like i have done simple animation no i have used mathematical uh, expression exactly that used in engineering so select this gear press tab select the words mode okay now here you can see the measure tool select this and if you just hover your mouse here you can see some commands for example x to move active slouser con uh, control while dragging the snap okay so i go here and press control and snap it so you will basically measure this value so basically you have to measure the value from here up to here this point okay uh, but the problem is that i am currently not able to figure uh not able to currently horizontally matching out so i face this problem but after doing a lot of mistakes and practice i able to figure out what's the correct distance is uh, it takes me a lot of time so that method i will tell you about uh, some other day because that method is little more complex than this so i will just tell you the simple formula uh, how to do it so what you need to do it select this press n okay so as you can see my gear rotate on y this one rotate on y so make it zero right click on it click on copy as a new driver select this one it rotate on z axis right click on it click on paste driver right click on it click on edit driver click on scripted expression multiply by 0 0.0199 now if i select this and rotate along y okay make it zero select this right click on it click on edit drivers simply type the value of minus okay because opposite now select this and if i move it sorry if i move the y value as you can see it's working very great so for those who are working uh, wondering what's the formula the formula is pitch length okay the pitch length from here to here divided by pi d its diameter okay now if some people are asking how do i calculate the diameter of it so diameter formula is quite simple it is module times number of teeth in my case this gear has a module of 0.2 and number of teeth is 50 okay so 0.2 into 50 multiply by pi and this uh, pitch length i don't remember exactly what is the correct value of it but i know that it's i have simply used the formula okay uh, just in case if you want to if somebody asks hey can you make custom for custom design for you i can make it but yeah uh, main problem i face is basically to measure the length or pitch length okay so if anybody know easiest way to measure it uh, so you can tell me 
now let's try to do the animation thing so select this press tab uh, first let's fill this app and to do the animation is quite simple what you need to do is select this press i rotation and let's say go to 120 and one more thing uh, some people might wondering why put the value 0 0.0198 so what does it mean it basically means whenever this gear rotate 360 degree this gear will rotate uh, minus 0 0.716 okay 7.16 so this is what a gear ratio is so so but i don't want to rotate 360 let's say 360 into 4 i because 7 degrees is quite a low movement okay now a question is how to set the camera so select the camera so 1080 by 9020 press 0 on your numpad after that go to the view to 3d cursor now adjust the camera as per your requirement Uh, select the camera uh, go here and enter the value of 0 0 90 uh, minus 90 sorry and on y axis uh, green color represent y axis okay that's the reason I know exactly that it's a y axis on x uh, I guess this is fine okay now you can give some color as per requirement so let's give it a color some black uh, share of view select this one click on new oh, let's make it Uh, as you can see now press 7 and go to here increase this as per you can click on render render image so this is what you got in EV but if you use cycles uh, that's my favorite but my computer is not that good so render image uh, you will get a result like this and at the end of the day you will get a result like this i know it's okay okay and just in case if you want to learn more animation you can watch this video as well uh, check out the link in the description if you want to learn it <coughs> this is easy one basically and that's for all in this video so i hope you learned something in this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries uh, feel free to ask and Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.